Hey Chokel Martin Miller here. I hope you're going well. Today, it is the 16th of July 2021. Two years ago today, I was in Slovakia to see my favorite band of all time, Dream Theater. But the people in South Africa were mourning the loss of the white Zulu, Johnny Glegg. Now, at the time of my life, I had never ever heard of the man Johnny Glegg. You ask me to name a South African musician off the top of my head, I could name what Dave Matthews, Anton Fig, um, Mut Leng, who was not a musician, and Lady Smith Black Mambuzu, and the Swatter Gospel Choir. So, then the last year, I was hanging out with a South African lady, and I was telling her about South African musicians I could name off the top of my head. And she said, Oh, I should listen to uh, Johnny Glegg. He just died last year, but he was known as the White Zulu. I was an Englishman who was born in Bay Cup in Northern England in 1953. But as a child, his parents split up, so he went to Rhodesia with his Rhodesian born mother, who was of like Ashkenazi Jewish descent from the Baltics. So then, troubles happened you now in Rhodesia, and he ended up in South Africa. So, he noticed the Zulus who would come into the part of South Africa he was like living at and he was really inspired by their ways of life. He learnt their language, he incorporated their type of music into his own music. And so he was in two different bands in his life. Uh, the shirt I'm wearing now is uh, Johnny Gleck and uh, Savaku. Savu. Uka, Savuka. Apologies for saying it wrong. And the first song I ever heard of Johnny Glegg was The Scattlings of Africa. And you can actually hear that song when you watch uh, Rain Man. So it was actually like recorded in his uh, previous band and then they like re recorded it again in the Zavuku. Uh, when Johnny Glegg had his memorial service in South Africa a couple of days after his passing, I was watching it online, and whenever and everyone's singing the the crossing, I'm just noticing people like who are singing the song and the the choir are crying. They like they wipe my tears, and I myself, a grown man, age thirty five, I couldn't help but cry. I was like sitting on my laptop, just watching. Every time I just watch it, I just cry. So. I just want to say, two years later, God bless you, Johnny Glegg. Thank you for your amazing music. Thank you for inspiring a generation. I praise you for what you did with uh, Madiba in breaking down apartheid. I praise you for even pinching away Michael Jackson's fans from a concert in France. So, cheers to you, the white Zulu. Is my South African shot glass that I used to take my medication every day with. God bless Jake Leg. I'm on the millhead. Over and out.